beginning with the staircase where there did not used to be a landing now there is we got some drywall work yet to do uh, that used to be the door into the office uh, which we had to move to put the landing in the bath all we did was we took out the ceiling we're going to be putting a, a grid ceiling that's a screw to joist system in there look really nice and uh, we're going to replace that cabinet we took out and uh, do some painting and touch up work here and in the kitchen uh, this is where we currently have our laundry uh, but eventually that's going to be moved up into the uh, the great room above the garage All right. well we tore out the ceiling as you can see and then we put the steel beam in here to replace the wooden one which is coming out and we built a new wall next to the old wall so all of these posts then can come out almost all of the wiring phone data and cable has been run we have eliminated the door that used to go into the furnace room uh, you can see where the old uh, threshold was and we are now going to put that same doorway into the uh, the bedroom or through the bedroom so that our kitchen can be uh, so that this wall here can be usable in the kitchen uh, other things that will have to be done uh, the copper uh, hot and cold lines currently run all the way around the perimeter of the house to feed the kitchen sink which is located above the patio doors as does the gas line which sticks out far enough to require a build out um, all the way down this this portion of the wall the gas line and those copper uh, water lines will be relocated basically where the uh, original beam is now and those uh, those lines will run down the middle of the house and branch off from that point to service both the stove uh, which is which we're basically standing underneath right now and uh, possibly I'll run the gas all the way down underneath and into the garage or into the garage and underneath the great room for a possible gas dryer in the soon to be utility room well we've got quite a bit of work done since uh, since we last rolled tape uh, we've removed all the carpet uh, we've finished framing in everything. The beam is up and the post in the middle of the floor is now gone. Uh, if that was one of the last things that we had mentioned. The ductwork is also finished. Um, beginning here where it had originally uh, been <laughs> reduced incorrectly, it is now a 14 by 8 coming off of a 16 by 8 and extending into the garage and if we go uh, into the garage we'll see exactly how that was done and uh, we also since we're going to be a ways from finishing the ceiling in the garage uh, I went ahead and went with uh, insulated 8 inch ductwork you can see coming off and going to instead of the original two vents now there are four vents that are feeding the large great room above that will eventually become the master uh, bedroom and bath. So a lot of extra duct work done there and uh, all insulated and eventually uh, before winter sets in this uh, this portion of the metal duct work will be insulated as well for the cold winter months. You can see the copper lines then running all the way down the center of the house. Um, this is going to serve uh, multiple purposes. Cuts off here, feeds the bathroom, both the shower, uh, the uh, water closet, and the vanity, both down here and upstairs. And then uh, the, the lines continue also down and break off at this point to service the kitchen sink and the dishwasher and then uh, thankfully I had the foresight to also break off and put in a cold water supply for the ice maker on the fridge which even though the fridge does not have an ice maker now we wanted to make sure that that consideration had been made now also I put in uh, two valves here shut off valves 
because uh, from this point out uh, we have the potential of running water into that master bedroom or bathroom that we're going to be putting into the great room and this allows us to have that pipe already in place.